Hey guys, Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you how to fix iMessage and FaceTime number has expired. Every iPhone owner values seamless communication, so it's understandably frustrating when you see a constant notification on your screen that reads, iMessage and FaceTime number has expired. Remove and reinsert the SIM to keep using number for iMessage and FaceTime. This cryptic alert can leave many of us scratching our heads, wondering about the next course of action. Let's delve into the reasons behind this occurrence and discuss a tried and true solution to rectify it. Why won't my number connect to FaceTime or iMessage? Both iMessage and FaceTime use your phone number to associate your device with your Apple ID. This integration enables the smooth running of Apple's unified communication strategy across devices. However, issues can arise during a carrier or number change, updates, or even due to minor system glitches, causing the system to lose its grasp on the number. In certain instances, this disruption can lead to the iMessage and FaceTime number has expired eSIM notification. Why is my phone number no longer on iMessage? A crucial aspect of iMessage functionality is the phone number tied to your Apple ID, which allows messages to flow smoothly across your Apple devices. If your number is not on iMessage, it typically indicates a glitch in the linking process, often triggered by a change in the SIM card or service provider. This hiccup might result in a disconnection between your Apple ID and the phone number, leading to an array of iMessage complications including the iMessage and FaceTime number has expired notification. How do I fix my expired iMessage number? Here's where our focus sharpens on resolving the issue. Fixing the iMessage and FaceTime number has expired. Error involves several steps that essentially refresh your phone's connection with the SIM card, and subsequently, with the Apple ID associated with iMessage and FaceTime. Here's how to do it. Do navigate to iMessage and FaceTime settings and remove all numbers listed if possible. Next, go to Phone Settings, and if your number is incorrect, change it to the correct one. Unfortunately, I don't have a SIM card installed. You can also shut down your phone and remove the SIM card. Restart the phone and reinsert the SIM card. Toggle on iMessage and FaceTime and activate your number. In theory, this intricate dance of settings adjustments should clear up any confusion between your iPhone and the iMessage FaceTime system. Thus successfully fixing the iMessage and FaceTime number has expired error. How do I reactivate my mobile number on iMessage? Reactivating your mobile number on iMessage is an easy process if there hasn't been a recent change in your carrier, or if you're not dealing with the iMessage and FaceTime number has expired issue anymore. Here's the standard procedure. Navigate to Settings and Messages. Tap on Send and Receive. Sign in with your Apple ID if you haven't already. Check to see if your phone number is listed. If it is, click on it to activate iMessage with your phone number. Remember, Every user's situation might be a bit different, and what works for one might not work for another. The important thing is to remain patient and follow the steps carefully. That's it for today, guys. If this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe at Mac Observer for more Apple news. I'm Mike here. See you next time.